right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. So today, back in Tableau. And so with Tableau release 2019.2, they've introduced this concept of parameter actions. And so I've got this NBA dashboard here that's showing uh, points scored by teams in the 2018-2019 season. And so let me first give a shout out to Kevin Flurlidge. Uh, this is, he's got a really good blog post that outlines some of the cool uses of parameter actions in Tableau. So this is definitely inspired uh, by that by that blog post. Go check it out. I've got the link here if you find this on Tableau Public. So let me just show you that um, on box, we can see that Greek Freak here scored 1,994 points, which represents 21% of the Bucks team's total, right? So what happens when I select Team Drake here? So if I select Team Drake, I see that Kawhi Leonard, right? Um, you know, we get that breakout with Kawhi scoring 17% of the Raptors team total, uh, so on and so forth. And then I can also select, uh, you know, I'm rep repping for ATL here, Hawks, Trey Young. So I've got that interactivity. I can select on a, a mark here, a team, and then get that breakout using parameter action. So that's a really cool uh, concept. So how do we go about creating something uh, like this? So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to open up a, a version where I've kind of started here. So the only thing I've done, I've dragged uh, from my data set, I've dragged the team name to rows. You know, you can drag uh, whatever dimension you want and then drag your measure up to columns. Um, in my case, it's a sum of points. Then a little filtering because I only want to show Eastern Conference uh, teams for now. And then we're going to make this entire view and then I'm going to unclick uh, show header here so we only have Eastern Conference uh, teams here great so now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, a parameter so in order for parameter actions to work you gotta have a parameter so let's go ahead and base that off of my team name I'm gonna create a parameter and it's team name parameter that's we'll stick with that right so all my team names come up but I also need to add uh, we're gonna call this reset I'm gonna add a um, another value here so we're gonna call that reset and you'll see why uh, in later in the video so boom we have that and so now let's also create a uh, we want to be able to select a team and then drill into the players right so I'm gonna create a calculated field and we're going to name that calculated field player drill. But for now, I'm just going to paste in here um, the, the actual calculation. So we'll call this player drill. And so what's happening is from my parameter, um, whenever I select a team, right, the parameter is going to get the value uh, of that team name. So if team name parameter, you know, let's say I select box is equal to team name, which it always will be for the selected team, then it's going to show the players on that team. It's going to drill down and show the players on that team. All the other teams that aren't selected are just going to keep the team name, right? And so you saw earlier we created that reset value. So when reset is selected, um, all of the, the uh, bar values are going to be in the else clause. They're just going to show all the team names because there isn't a team, an NBA team named reset. So um, all of the bars are going to be here in, um, in team name, right? They're just going to show the team name when you select reset. So I'm going to say OK here. Great. And then now let's create um, uh, our reset. And so this is the part, uh, uh, definitely pick this up uh, from Kevin Flurlidge. This is kind of uh, innovative right here. So we're going to create a, uh, a calculated field. And you can see it's called reset. And we'll take a look at it. It simply has reset in it. And it has to be the same case as the value that you put into your parameter. So if it's all caps in the parameter, make sure it's all caps uh, in the calculated field here. So we're going to say OK. And we're going to drag reset to text. And you can see here I've got reset. Let's hide this uh, title. And I want to make sure that this is a circle. OK. And you'll see I got a little tiny circle there. What we can do is we can increase the size. But we also have to make sure that we, you know, let's widen this a little bit. Um, 
if I can drag this over, okay. And I, I want to make sure that alignment, uh, let's go here for alignment. I think it's horizontal. There we go. Get that in the middle. And I want to I want to make sure this is, let's make this value white. Say okay. There we go. And I want to make the color of the circle black. That's fine. Uh, that's good enough for me. Uh, I could make this fit entire view if I wanted to. There we go. We got a huge circle here going on. So great. And I'm just going to call this reset. Perfect. So now let's create a dashboard. And let's, yeah, I always like to go with uh, automatic. Get some maximum space there. Let's bring in our uh, bar chart, right? And then let's bring in uh, our reset value. Let's see if we can sneak that over here. Let's hide this, hide the title. And there we go. Let's just shorten that up. So now we have our bar chart values. I'm going to get rid of this as well. We got our bar chart values and we have this reset uh, button. And uh, yeah, bear with me on the filters here. I just like the, uh, the single value drop down. I'm going to select single value drop down. And for my division, I want to make sure that that is only relevant to values. So when I select Western, right, only the relevant Western values show up. So, all right, so let's go back to uh, Eastern. There we go. All right. So now, how do we make this work? We need to put a parameter. We need to put a couple parameter actions on here because right now when I select box, I don't drill into the player. So let's go up here to uh, dashboard. We're going to select actions. I'm going to add an action. See, we have this change parameter. That's new for 2019.2, right? We're going to uh, change parameter. I want to make sure, let's select the, the bar chart uh, drill. That is obviously this, uh, this uh, sheet right here. And target parameter. So I only have one parameter. That's the team parameter name that we created. And so on select, we're going to affect the, uh, the team name parameter. And which field? Uh, the team name. There's no aggregation. So basically what this is saying is on select uh, in, in the bar chart uh, drill sheet, um, we're going to pass to the parameter uh, the, so the team name that we select. Okay. So I'm going to say OK here. And I'm going to add another action. I'm going to change parameter. And this is going to be a reset button. So we're going to say select. And again, we only have one parameter, team name parameter, and the value is going to be reset, no aggregation. So what's going on here is when I select reset here, this reset button, the value, there's only uh, one value here, and it's reset, right? It's literally reset. And that value of reset is going to be passed to the parameter. Right, so I'm going to say OK. Right, this reset value is going to be passed to this parameter. I'm going to say OK. Right, and so now let's see. Let me go back before this will work. We're going to um, uh, first thing we have to do is we have to uh, place the player drill on color. So let's do that. Oh boy, so we get uh, some really garish <laughs> colors here. And um, I've got, uh, let me explain this, I've got a, uh, a fixed uh, level of detail here. So we have total team points. So let me just show you this real quick. Let me just go over here, this fixed LOD, and I'm going to show you what a total team points is. Right. Um, so you're going to create total team points and take a look. So fixed LODs, you know, uh, you can you can get some good information on that, and I might do a video on that uh, solo later. But for now, just know that we want to calculate in order to do a percentage, right? I, I need the total team points, right? I need points scored by the player uh, divided by the total team points, right? So uh, what I have to do is to get that total team points is I have to create a fixed LOD. So I want fixed at the team level, so this is ATL, fixed at this team level, some points. So Atlanta scored 9,294 points. So I need that as my denominator in another calculation where I will divide the individual player points by the total team points. So fixed LOD allows us to um, uh, have a calculation at a higher level of gran granularity that is within the visualization. So, you know, very quick. Hopefully that, that makes sense. Just wanted to show you this in case you got lost. And so I also created a percent of team points. We'll go in here. 
It's points divided by total team points. Our total team points is our fixed LOD that we created. And that's what gives us our percent of team points. Okay. So now that we have that, let's go back here and let's put, um, let's put that percent of team points on, uh, on label, right? And let's take our player drill and let's also put that on label. And you'll see, boom, I have, I have names in here now. And so we also want to make sure that we're sorting correctly. So bonus tip, right? Make sure you're sorting correctly. Uh, let's not by data source order. Let's sort by a field and a sending to, you know, not by two pointers, by our um, percent of team points. That's fine. We can sum. It doesn't matter. Boom. And so now I, I've got a, a nice order here uh, within this uh, this garish color scheme. This is uh, this is rough. But anyway, let's look and see now if this works. So if I select bucks now, right, you'll see that I have, you know, I'm showing Greek Freak here, you know, select the Hawks. I'm showing Trey Young. And so this is how you um, you introduce a parameter action to, to drive interactivity within your visualization. And so you can take it a next, uh, you know, a step forward and, and make the colors look nice. And, uh, one of the things, uh, let's, let's hide, um, I'll show you how to do this, uh, since, uh, since we're here, right? Um, let's say I wanted to introduce a, another color scheme here. So I, I'm going to select color. Well, first, I'm going to go to my dashboard. Let's move this uh, over here. Let's move my dashboard over. All right. So go into my dashboard. I'm going to select bucks, right? So I have this garish color scheme. But I can go in here to color, edit colors. And let's say I like, uh, you know, I'm going to I'm going to make my eastern teams blue. I'm going to sign the palette here blue. You'll notice that bucks players are here along with other teams. So we're going to say OK. And that changes, right? That changes all the other teams along with the buck players, right? If I were to select label, let's make that uh, white. Um, yeah, we can make this white. Say OK. There we go, and that, that pops a little bit. So all, what that also does is that hides uh, the, the total percentage over here, so I don't uh, have to see that. So you can match your, your background color to your, to your label, so you hide those values there. And so now, uh, you know, that's going to work for the box, but when I select 76ers, sorry, let me go back here. When I select 76ers, all right, we're going to go back to the garish uh, color scheme. So. I can go in for for every team here. So now I, I go back in here. I'm going to select a 76ers. Okay, great. And then I can go again here in color, edit the colors, and select my palette. Let's assign that palette and say okay. And everything changes. So I've got some, uh, you know, a consistent scheme. So I can keep doing that um, for, you know, for Hawks. So now I could go in here. I can go back to Hawks, you know, again, edit the colors. Make sure, assign that palette and say OK. So you keep doing that, rinse, repeat until you get a nice uh, color scheme um, that you can actually show someone that isn't garish. So, you know, as, as I've done here in more of a, a finished product. And so I did the same thing, just uh, went to Western and I chose a purple for the Lakers here, you know, showing LeBron at 16%. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.